So today, I'm going to show you how to play this wonderful game, Cyberpunk 2077, in virtual reality. And it's awesome. Problem is, last time I tried doing this, I couldn't really play it because it was shit. I've got a... I've got a, a 3060. So it's pretty mid-range. And it's just not playable. It, well, it wasn't playable. And I thought I'd never be able to play it in VR without having to buy something like a 4070. And I can't afford that. But I found a way. And this is how you do it. Let's make it so this game runs on a low to mid-range PC for a start off. In VR. Not flat. In VR. And the way you do that, I'll show you. First of all, download the files. That I've put the links for these files that you'll need. Or the mods that you'll need. In the description. Now remember, you must have played this game at least once. In flat, not all the way through, just start the game up uh, and let it create a, a user profile. So what we'll do, we'll go down to, in the S Steam library, go to Sa uh, Cyberpunk, right click, scroll down to manage and scroll across to browse uh, local files. So I'll just close this so I can see what I'm doing. There we are. Remove that over there. And I'm not going to drop anything in this part of the, of the folder. You need to go to bin. Plus 64. And this is the folder that we're going to drop things into. That we're going to actually mod. And we're going to start with this first. VR Perfect Kit. And drag that over there. So you download this. Extract it in its own little folder. And it's just these two files you need to copy over. This one and this one. So you drag that over. I've already done this one. So I'll be replacing the files. You won't have to replace them if it's the first time you've done this. And you drag this one over. Into there. Making sure you don't drop them in any of these folders. Because that would be bad. There you go. Now all you have to do is run the game once. And then... Turn the game off. Come back in here, and what you'll have, what you'll see is that this little file here has been created. Now, if you open that, it tells you that everything's been enabled, and that's how you can tell it's working. So, close that. And apparently, you can use this with with any VR game. Well, you can try using it. It's either going to work or it's not. It won't make things any worse if it doesn't. So we'll keep this open. Remember, we're in a Cyberpunk bin plus 64. And we'll take this mod, which is a VR mod. And we're going to drop that in there as well. And this is Luke Ross's mod. Now, I know it's going to cost you $10. Uh, you can take the $10. And you get 11 at the moment. There's 11 mods in, that you get all built into one mod. It's all built into that one there. And they'll turn 11 different games into VR games. I'll put a list of all the games. It's up to you if you want to invest $10 or not. So we extract this here. I've already extracted it here. So I'll say yes, I'll replace all those files. And then you double click on real config. Click on yes. Now, because I've already installed this mod, it's going to ask me if I want to delete the last installation. So I'm going to say yes to that by pressing D on my keyboard. And look, it just automatically changes all the files and does everything it needs to do. Press con uh, any key again on the keyboard to continue. And that's it. It's as easy as that. It's a piece of piss, isn't it? So let's see if it's worked. Because there's something you need to change inside the game as soon as it starts as well. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. Oh, where's my controller? I'm using a, a PS5 controller for this. I know there's a lot of people who don't like that. They want the uh, move controllers, but unfortunately... Luke Ross doesn't do move, uh, move controllers. And I'm quite happy with that. So here we go. This is uh, this always pops up, this welcome screen. You need to press pause on your keyboard 
to make that go away and then press pause again to make it come back. I'll show you. And now I'm going to make it come back and I'm going to change something on here. See this? This is the old uh, AER, the alternate eye rendering that he uses. He's changed it, it's supposed to look better if, it's, if you use 1.2 or 1.3, but for me it doesn't, it's still unplayable. So I'm going to choose mono. You're going to lose a little bit of a 3D effect, so they say, but I can't know. I don't know it's the difference. It's not that I can't, I don't. So press on your keyboard, that'll go away. And we'll start the game. Ooh. Howdy, howdy, Night City. Welcome back. My guest tonight is Lieutenant Sarah Kokoski, spokeswoman for the NCPD. Hi there. Welcome to the... You see, this is fantastic. It actually makes the game playable. I'm not sure if you could use a, a PC, a, a graphics card lower, look at that, than a, a 3060, but it just wouldn't run at all before, but it was just too blurry, there was no detail, hello, do they have their photograph there? No, it's just being weird, look little people, hello little people, hello, See, this is really, really good. Oh, another little person. I think they're children. Wow. This is awesome. I'm not going to drive a car because I remember last time I drove a car in this. It's not like Grand Theft Auto. It's just not easy to drive a car. Let's have a look down here who these people are. Wow, look at the detail, hello, I like her, she's nice, oh he's poorly, hello, oh, that's a nice top, isn't that nice, it is a nice top and all, I like that, you're very pretty, isn't she nice, anyway, I think I better go, oh look, love, ooh, is it a bar? Probably a bar. Should I go in a bar? There's a bar here. Oh, no there isn't. Can I go in here? Yeah. Oh, it's locked. Well, that's a shame. Wow. Look at them over there. These are nice cars. Look at this. Hello. What? Okay, alright. I'm going. Jesus. The game wants me to go over there. But I want to go uh, down here. Can we run? Yeah, we can run. Wow. So yeah, that's how you make this game playable on a mid-range PC and probably on a on a low-range PC. It's worth giving it a try, isn't it? If you've tried it before and you couldn't get it running, try that little mod I, I installed at the beginning of this video. This is brilliant. And try using mono and not the, uh, the alternate eye rendering. Wow. You still here? Hiya. Hello. Hello. I'm not here I better go before somebody kills me. <laughs>